If I told you that this close-up of the tumor here, this obviously papillary tumor, was of the breast and told you it was a duct papilloma, you would absolutely believe me. Abs in fact, anybody would believe me. In fact, nobody could prove me wrong. If, however, I told you that this was from the vulva and not the breast, you might uh, modify your diagnosis a little bit. But it doesn't matter because this is a papillary uh, tumor of the vulva derived from ectopic breast tissue. If you remember, the nipple line extends from the labia all the way to the axilla in a relatively straight line. So this is regarded as a tumor of ectopic breast ductal tissue. And they're almost all in the vulva. And uh, they're almost always benign. And the name of this tumor is a hydradenoma, H-Y-D-R-A-D-E-N-O-M-A. -E Here is some of the uh, overlying uh, epidermis of the vulva. And here's some inflammation underneath that. And then this big, big, big papillary lesion here is, a, is the tumor. It's a papillary tumor. You remember almost all papillary tumors of the thyroid are cancer. Almost all or most of the papillary tumors of the urothelium are cancer. But in the skin and other areas in the breast, most papillary tumors, especially if they look benign, are benign. This is a benign, obviously papillary tumor of the vulva derived from ectopic breast tissue, and it's called a papillary hydradenoma, and it probably will uh, not turn into cancer. Thank you very much.